So Facebook has been making a whole lot of updates recently, and actually they've been making updates all the time pretty frequently, but recently they've been making some pretty big changes, and some of them are very cool. And the one I'm going to show you now is the page template options for your business pages. So to do it, it is very easy. You just come up here to your page settings, and you click. And then over here, you click on edit page. And the first thing we see here is templates. And you can see now, by default, we're on the standard one. And we can click on edit. And now we have the different types of templates that we can choose from. So the standard one is the current one. You can view the details for each of them. Here's one for shopping, venues, gaming, politicians, professional services, and restaurants and cafes. So let's say we are going to do a professional services one, or we just want to see what's involved in one. So you can click on it, and then they'll tell you about what's inside of this template. So the templates are made up of different buttons, and the primary button for this one is a call now. That's for a professional service you want people to call. If it's a store page, it will be a buy now button, your buttons on your toolbar, and then the tabs that it is going to select automatically for you. And then you just apply the template. I'm not going to apply this one. So let's take a look at another one, the venues one. So this is the venues, and you can see here they have the learn more button as a primary button. If you don't want that one, you can change it. You can change them later. Your buttons on the toolbar, and then here are your tabs, which an events tab, of course, would be the most important one for a venue. So that's why it's the first one. So these templates make it easier for you to choose different templates for you for your page and for your, it'll just affect the buttons and your tabs. So for the standard one, which is our current template, you can see it has just the basics like this. Now also down here, you're going to see the default tabs. And the default tabs are the tabs that it suggests inside the template. So if I select the gaming template, and then I apply this template, then these tabs are going to be the tabs that show up if, right here, I select to use the default tabs. And then here you can manage all of your other tabs on your page right there, and you can add another tab as well. So you can see how easy it is to edit your templates there, and how you can adjust your tabs now in the edit page section. One more thing I'm going to say very quickly, I'm not going to make a whole video for it because it's very easy, is there's a new messaging option. Now you can have an auto reply, send instant replies to anyone who messages your page, turn it on to yes, instant replies are a good way, change your message, and then here is the message that people will automatically get when they send you a message. So you can add personalization to this as well. So here's a person's first name, like, hi, and then person's first name, hi, Brian, thanks for messaging us. The other personalizations you have is your website URL, URL your address, and the person's full name. Time. Please check out our website. And then that's what it will look like when uh, they receive the message, the auto reply. So that's a cool little way now that you can add instant reply messages to anyone who messages, sends a message to your page. The other option you have here is show a message greeting. So first time they open to have a conversation on Messenger, this is what it's going to say. And again, you can add a personalization to that as well. So those are the new options for the messaging.
If you have any questions about any of this, be sure to let me know and I will get back to you and help you out best I can. Thanks for checking this out and I will see you soon.